okay, let it be known. I'm working hard when I ain't on the phone. This ain't a hunt, this ain't a phone. Grind never stopping, I'm keeping it cold. Unlocking the door with the What's up, y'all? It's Elena. It's Kayla. What, bro? What are you fucking me? And we're going to be reacting to From Season 1, Episode 3. He caught up. I made sure he caught up so he could watch it with me because this show is fire. And um, we're going to figure this out. We're going to figure out how we're going to get up out of here and what's going on. Because they're not going to keep doing my people like this. I refuse to keep going through this with them. So we had to solve this. What? Tell me your people. This is your people. Three episodes. I'm going to edit that. So just a quick recap. There's a psychopath murdering people. And the little boy seems to have a doppelganger. But we're not sure because we watched it back. And we're not sure if that's really him. That could be another little boy. And something that he brought up while we was watching it. Um, why was the girl able, the murderer girl, the psychopath girl, why was she able to walk out at night? Like she came home, took a shower and everything. She was okay. They didn't touch her. And then... Why was a little boy who's like shh, out there in, in the day, morning? In daytime. Come on, y'all. We gotta get y'all get our brains working. We gotta figure this out. Full reactions on Patreon. The link is in the description below. Let's get into it. Previously on From. Is Daddy coming home? Any second now. You go start saying your prayers. Are they gonna keep showing this part like every episode? Why is there a tree in the middle of the road? Must have got knocked down in a storm or something. Oh, this can't be the same place. Oh, but it is. Excuse me. We're trying Look to get back on the highway. Ass. Could you? I know she's the weirdo. Oh. 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 Those two cars. He thought that oh, was so funny. Time. Like, what do you think it means? There are things you need to know about where. Yeah, Victor knows something we don't know. Unfortunately, about. this is gonna be the worst conversation. What's the name of this town called? Monsters. They didn't say it. I don't think there is a name. And if you climb high enough, even a nightmare can look like. And I'm watching Fatima too. She kind of weird. Too. Yeah. I hear their voices. They said it was the only way to go home. Sarah, just tell me what you. And she also told her not to look down. Open. Those things. They have, I, wanna they walk. I think she said not to look down to so see those things. Yeah. Nothing. Like, it look like him, but at the same time, it don't look like him. Hmm. They stay getting high in this place. What the hell? So they just have sex around people in this place? And the family's right there. I come on, but it's a kid right there. Shut the fuck up, people are trying to slay fuck are you. <sighs> Sorry, kid. I'm usually more cordial when I do this. <sighs> we pick one hell of a time to finally wake up. Listen, I don't know what's going on here. All right. But you get me out of these fucking straps. I'm not wasn't down to doing that. Swear to God, I'm gonna... What? That boy be going through it, y'all. I can't imagine the things he's seen. Like, he became sheriff. Where he's going? Probably every murder that happened, he's been there. Hmm? Okay. What was that? Why was he so concerned with that? Out of theory about them pictures. Afraid to throw something off the curb every time. <clears throat> Dang, Frank's still locked up, huh? It's important for you to understand that what happens tonight is not personal. What's happening tonight? 
that he sacrifices me. I wasn't always like this, you know. Mm. I doubt it. None of us were. Look, no, few of y'all were crazy before y'all came. Need, oh, for sure. Anyone? There is one thing I'd like to do. Are they gonna kill him for real? So you're telling me that monsters come from the forest to hunt us? Basically. Monsters who incidentally killed my friend the other night. Yeah. Ah, oh, they didn't kill your friend. They probably ate his remains. I don't think they did that. Yeah, that's so. Because she said that it looks like she said that they told her to make it look like the monsters did. It. Fuck off. Oh yeah, that's true. <sighs> Well, how about you stay where like that did, and not? Where did he find you? Who? Toby, are, are you guys individual hires or is this one of those traveling companies? Because, I mean, you play the whole thing pretty At great. At this point, just I get out of my house. <laughs> get out of my house and find out. I just, I thought, is there like some kind of puzzle I have to solve? Hmm. That's actually, actually a good mind. question. Don't, don't spoil it for me. There probably is going? a puzzle they need to solve. <laughs> no. Hey, <laughs> right, this will do. Thank no, you. That's my. Uh, you too passive for me. I was like, get the fuck off my bike. We're just gonna stare at each other all day. I don't look happy no more. Oh, there you go. That is so weird. Oh. The nerd. So she works with the mom. Oh, uh, she she works. She was a, in the episode one time. Like you know, we got a lot of okay. some... Yeah. Mm. What you doing, Vic? In there. Oh, books. How did Got the books. books. Never forget the books. Oh, let's see. Maybe there's one. Maybe I can find something. Oh, wait a minute. We have okay. books. Good job, Dad. Do we want? Do we want Adventures of the Grand Gulagog? Flight of the Crow Monocle? Oh, what the hell? <laughs> what kind of books are these? That's my favorite. <laughs> Make the sound. Make the I have no idea what you're even <laughs> Jim is literally me. <laughs> Katya's here to talk to you about the choosing ceremony. What, what's the choosing ceremony? I'll let him fill you in. All newcomers have to decide whether they want to live here in Colony House. Or down in the town. That's just part of how we do things here. Ooh. I'd like to take the both of you, show you around, maybe take you to the house of the Where do you want to live? You choose the town. I think I'll live in well, town, I... but now that I know there's a psychopath in town. What? This I'll is for all here. of us, right? I want to see. We need you to stay here and be with Ethan. Donna can watch Ethan. I'll probably stay in town. The colony got too many people. I don't want to wake up okay. to two old people fucking. You guys go ahead. I don't know, man. There's a crazy heifer in there. Hey. Murdering people because she's she hearing shit in her head. I don't got time for it. I don't got time. I'll stay you know here. What? Maybe I should stay. I shouldn't leave it alone. I think it's very important that both they of grow you their own food. See. It's gonna be okay. You know, they just be chilling. Tough here. kid. Like five people died in town. Good morning, everybody. What's cooking today, huh? <laughs> Side diner in which my guard have fallen. What are you uh, talking about, dude? Who do we think is a scavenger like, right? like, bro? Oh, thank you. I'm starving. What do we got? Bitch. Hey, here's a line. Oh, look, I'm all for authenticity, but I'm also really hungry. And since y'all basically work for me anyways, it's kind of okay, so. Ow! You dazi, lim jun dazi ma. You pai do ya. It'll be okay. Sarah. Promise. You need a snitch on your sister. It's for the greater good. Points for walking around like all oh, this is normal. This bitch, we have no choice. <laughs> what you want us to do? 
Mm-hmm. Cry every day? Do that. Yeah, it's a good normal. I know what it is when they when that sun go down. Line, but reality is a part of the world that they live in. Look. I wish there was an explanation. I'm not going to lie. I would have explored the woods or something but just to see what I would find. Okay. Because I'm not staying here. Just always remember. What's that? Um, we call that the box. Oh, they're going to put Frank in there. To keep each other safe. Mm-hmm. And when <sighs> someone's actions or negligence leads to the death of a resident in town, the only punishment for that crime is a night in the box. How many times have you used it? Tonight will be the first. Oh, shit. Look. And it'll keep you comfortable if you choose to live in town. They gonna fuck Frank up. What kind of incident? The kind that happens when people are careless. Y'all ain't cleaning a house for y'all, brother? You in here? Now they're putting the daddy in the fucking box at sundown for those things to keep. You heard what the priest said. See, I wouldn't want to stay in if town. This the rules, is. Uh, they'd all still be alive right now. Pick my ass for calling me out. Why are you? Why are you so eager to take any of this at face value, Jim? Because he has sense. Because we don't want to end up like. Not that there's no fucking way to get down there. Some shit's climbed up there. I see. Well, just one. That's crazy. They climbed spot. up there to get that little girl. You'll bury me next to them, right? Um, you can think about it. Yeah. I was playing. That'll be nice to do. Of course. Bro, they gonna rip his ass apart, bro. It feels good. I'll tie it on later, okay? Yeah, try that. Ready? Now sit on the stairs there. I feel like, um, I forgot her name, but the daughter's going to fall in love with him. Two, Julie. One. Yeah, she's going to fall in love with him, and then Fatima's going to be like, bitch, that's my man. And then they're going to have a jealousy thing going on. So and then one of them going to die. So this is my theory, right? In the intro, they show all the paintings, right? what we do. All the drawings. One of them is Frank. I don't know if you see it in the box. One of them is a black man. And a female. I don't know if that's the yeah, wife or or a boy in the wife. In the intro, in the, in the, in the, in the, it, it has a picture of the black man and the white woman. Is it that's going to be? That's um. That's what's the name drawing? The black boy's drawing. Yeah, but that's yeah. not him. But that him. is him. This boy is way darker. It's a dark black man. I thought it was him. I don't think that's him. Maybe it might be. But I could have sworn that was him but, and Fatima. But, but that's not his drawing. That's Victor drawing. That is his drawing. It's it was Victor. in his room. I, I think Victor drawing because he can draw really good. No, the drawing that was in the intro is the same drawing that he has hanging up in his room. I'm, I know. I know they are hanging up, but those are Victor's drawings. Look at how the way Victor draw. When he look at how he drew the. the that is true because um he does draw more artistic. That looked like a, a children's oh, job. And when we seen Victor first drawing with the car flipped over, it looked just like that. That's boy than either that that one Tabitha or Fan or Fatima. Hmm. Because Frank is one of them pictures in that box. Go back and see it when you get the chance. I suppose she wasn't there anything. You might be mm-hmm. on to something. What? I don't know, like a, a clue or some kind of. This nigga predict- still thinks this is a scavenger yeah, hunt. Yeah. Like, I'll tell you what. Never mind. You stay out there tonight and see how many clues you get. Your boyfriend's dead. I see. Was that the guy from the other car? He's going to get himself killed. <laughs> Good. Um, are less, hungry? Have you less people got to work out. Yet? Stupid no, people like that. Check out. What are you counting, Richard? I think he's making a map. That will make the most sense right now. What are you doing? I can help you check. No. That's Not the same lunchbox from in the you trailer. Comes the little boy. You out here. Who gets blamed? Mm-hmm. And Donna I don't think you remember. And... Have you seen the boy who lives out here? Uh-oh. 
Wait, you see him too? What? Forget it. No, no, hold on, hold on. Who do you mean lives out here? He's always walking around out here. I'm checking to see if we move. If what moves? The trees. Will he? Yeah. Did they? I don't know yet. I'm not done checking. Ethan! You know what this reminds what me of? Fuck! Get back inside. Mom told me to watch you. Calm down. Guess I gotta go. Yeah, I guess you better then. This you reminds me of in the tall grass where like it was like the Victor the cornfield kept moving. Hello. So it would move people and keep them in the cornfield. And they couldn't find a way out of it. Mm. Don't touch So he's probably like trying Why? to see if the trees are because moving. Because it's the the Why forest is moving them. And you heard what he said about the little boy? He told him, if you see him again, tell him Victor said hello. We're going to piece this dish together. <laughs> um, Are you supposed to be down there? I'm definitely not going down there. Oh, um, shit. I'm not doing this. You're wild. <gasps> Oh my gosh! Oh shit. What the fuck? He was gone. Oh shit. What the hell's going on? She still think it's a game. No, you gotta. Toby, you're a fucking genius. Oh my gosh. Toby has been dead for about 15 hours. How was that? How was that a special effect? How did you not believe that? Man, going through it, y'all. Let's, let's say you absolve Frank of all his crimes. Then what? Are you? What happens next time? Is the pastor calling the shots? On several occasions, very publicly, I might add. How do you think people are going to react when you let Frank go? How much weight point. do you think the rules that hold this town together will carry? Can you not lock him Aren't up forever? You're supposed to be talking to me about the virtues of mercy. Exactly. I see. What kind of preacher is this? I'm not going to stand here and pretend like this is an easy decision. I feel like Wait, him seeing his daughter and wife dead is punishment in enough. Square. What do you think happens when people realize you lack the conviction to use it? I don't know about this pastor, y'all. You're a terrible fucking priest. You know that? He is. But I ain't right with him. Now I'm cursing the house of the Lord. Fuck. This is not the house of the Lord. This man is not right. He's like, bro, we can't do this shit, bro. Come on, God bro. Damn it! Ah, uh, bro. Don't do it, though. Until we find our way back home, you will select the rock. I don't think the pastor is trying Should to go back. Choose to join with the people of Colony House. To live for today, because tomorrow is not guaranteed. You will select the flower. Now, once you have chosen, this choice will be final. Oh, they can all choose like many of their us here. Own? Frank? He just probably feels so like guilty. He probably don't want to be alive at all. I don't want to see my girls again. Wait! No! Don't go, Frank! <laughs> God damn, I love this! It's scary! It's, uh, it's dramatic! It's... Okay, whoa, big fella. <laughs> All right, okay. Easy, easy, easy. All Pick right. one. You just fucking let me go. Ow! What the fuck? Pick one. I'm gonna fucking sue you. Wait. Ow! Okay, all right, okay. All right, all right. Go. Oh. Ah, damn it! Go show some. Oh, shit. Yeah, go show him. Frank, you don't have to do this. Did he pick you a stone? Decisions like this one. Mm, no, look. Oh. 
I'm have the to most clear minded I've been in a long time, trust me. All right. Boy, gonna whip Let's the, get this done. He's gonna whip that boy ass. Are you living in town or, or colony? Town. Okay. Sorry. You each have to say it. Oh, yeah, town. So even the little boy? Ethan. Town. Oh, Jill's going to pick Colony Jill. House. Colony House. What? No, no. No. She didn't mean that. Girl made her choice. H hold on a second. It's done. Ceremony's over. She don't need no, no, to no, understand. I'm sorry. She can't make that decision. She's no. under age. No. Okay, look. We're going to mm. fix this. There is okay. nothing to Will fix. Will you shut the fuck up? Ooh. Boy just had enough. Please. Can they switch like right. later on? Like if they change uh, their everybody, mind. Everybody, son, mm. we'll be going down soon. She gonna regret this. So uh, yeah, I don't think she understand like what that means. Okay, I'll take care of you. They didn't even want Boyd over there. So maybe like, I don't know. We'll have to see. All the teenagers go to fucking colony house. They only go. She only went there for that boy. Okay, you know what? This isn't funny anymore. This song. It never was. <laughs> I feel so bad for Ken. He done seen too much shit. He's so young. Don't do it, Freddy. <laughs> you fucked up, man. You fucked up big time. Okay. Damn, bro. Honorable man in this situation. You, what you did was fucked up to get to this situation. I don't think he's being honorable. I just feel like he he he, he does. No, I don't think he's paying his dues. He just don't want to be here no more. Like mm. usually when people lose their family, especially a child, it's like, bro, just kill me now. Like they oh, commit fuck. suicide. Fuck, but that's how you want to do this. They could yeah, shot me. I don't want to know. I know. Feel, they could have shot me in the but head. Who but... would want to shoot him in the head though? Shit, no so nobody. You gonna be torn apart by them things, bro? Hey, I don't. I think only um boy got a gun in town. I really in Colony know. House, they all had oh, guns. Fuck, bro. I don't think I'm gonna go out like this, though. I'll box them hoes up. Get these people home, Sheriff. Don't tell me what to do. I was playing. Frank, you a real? No, you're not a real one, but you yeah. know what I mean. No Godspeed, my boy. It hurt, man. It's been really bad for a long time. About like five minutes. I'm ready. And they like to torture you for yeah. real. Like, probably gonna be an hour, bro. <laughs> I don't feel past him, y'all. Something wrong with him. He's not. He's not okay. Let me turn on again. Why does it do that every time? It's a different song, bro. She's real, Jay. You think it's a fucking scavenger hunt? People losing their loved ones out here. This is just so sad. I wouldn't wish on nobody. Boo! Boo! He really gonna have to clean this man remains up in the morning. He gonna hear it. Hey man, he's gonna hear this all night. I'm dying. Oh my gosh, y'all, I'm not ready. I'm not right there. Y'all, I don't wanna see this.
happening. Yeah, this was a very, very sad episode. I am so depressed right now. Like, this is not fair. I don't think this is fair at all. I feel, I don't know what would happen because Frank wanted to go. He didn't want to be here anymore. But to do it like that, that's crazy. I like, don't like that. That's so torture. Like he, he knows there's nothing he can do. So it's rough to watch. That's, this episode made me real sad. Like, this is probably the saddest episode. Probably sadder than the last episode. This is not all. Uh, it's probably going to get even worse. We're going to lose, like, one character. I know one episode, they're going to get caught outside. Somebody's going to have to let somebody go to get to the house. It happens. Or they can run to a bush, like how, how Donna did. She said that um back in the day, they had to hide in the bushes and pray they don't find them and wait till morning. Everybody might not get that lucky. Man, man, man. I really want the brother to tell the, the town folk that his sister is a murderer. How dare she murder someone and then cause someone else to die and the lady that she's working with at the diner, that's her husband, and she's over here pretending like she didn't do nothing. Do you know how psychotic you have to be to do that? That's some crazy ass shit to do. And then she's talking about she wants to help her freak. Yeah. If she didn't come in, they would they would be suspicious of something. Yeah. They should be. Weirdo. And then Julie is pissing me off. I never liked Julie. But it just this is the icing on the cake for me. You doing all this just to be with a boy who is taking all this. Just to have your little independence. But to be honest, I don't know. I think I would stay in town. Yeah. I, I would rather be with boy. I'm sorry. I can't be at Colony House. It, is, it looks too dysfunctional over there. Everybody look crazy. Like nobody cares about anything. It's too carefree. I need somewhere that has rules and structure. I don't like all that, that hippie shit. I don't like it. It's weird. Is that like why all the young teenagers or the young adults are going right now and the old, really like old people? Or the There's old people there too. But I know, but I'm saying just like random old, like look at Big Rick. Rick is in Colony House. And are they going to clean that room up? Like, are they just going to leave Megan? I'm pretty like, sure they're going to clean it up. Like, that would be dumb for them to leave it like that. But yeah, but I'm just like, how soon? Because they in the house now. What if the little boy walk into the room and sees that? I feel like they had no choice but to put him in that house because Megan literally died the day before. Mind you, they found their body the same day the people crashed here. Yeah. So it's it's going to take some time, but I'm pretty sure they're going to um, clean the room. Was Pastor super suspicious? Yeah, Pastor being real, re real, real weird. Like, it seems like he's the one calling the shots. Like, he's putting these little things in Boyd's head, making him... Basically do terrible things. Like, he's really adamant on, yeah, let that nigga die. You're a pastor. You're supposed to have mercy. You're supposed to preach having mercy and forgiveness and all that. Isn't murder a sin? Like, come on now. And you're, you're trying to make Boyd do all this mess. Like, come, like, I don't understand. Something's wrong with him. My eyes on him. I feel like Jules and Fatima's going to get into it. I feel like it's going to be a jealous moment. And it's going to be some beef. And one of them is going to end up dying. Or maybe Boyd's son is going to end up dying because of that girl. Yeah, I don't know why she left her family. That's, especially in a random place that you only been for one day with people that you never met. But she's a teenager and teenagers want their freedom. <laughs> and plus she likes that boy. Mm -hmm. So I knew she was going to... As soon as I seen that they all had to pick their own like place to live, like they all had to choose, I was like, yeah. She's going to Colony House. I already knew from the get-go. From the get-go. I don't know the rules exactly. I don't know if once you pick, you have to pick a side and you have to stay on that side. And you can only come like if someone asks you to come or like you can't come at all. Because in the first episode, 
Boyd was trying to go see his son, and Donald was like, you know, you're not allowed here. Like, what you mean? Yeah. Y'all all live in yeah. the same town, I thought, but I guess it's, they separated um, they separated the the town, one on this side, one on that side. And it looks like the pastor of the of the priest is the only person that can go back and forth. Because he know he was at the house when they first um when the fam Jim and his family was there and they was when he was like, All right, he was taking the show him around the town so they can get acquainted and see what But he was already there. He was there from the, the oh, night. Right before they was true. Yeah. Victor the one, man. Victor got all the information. Victor the one that knows everything. He's been there the longest. Then when when Ethan told him he seen that little boy, he's like, that this that clicked in his head. It's giving lost, y'all. If y'all watch Lost, y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. Victor Um, we watched the trailer, um, I think last night, two nights ago. And there's a little boy in that trailer, and we think it's Victor because he's dressed the same, he has the same type of hair, and he has the same exact lunchbox. So, um, and the little boy was staring at him, he was waving at the little boy. So, they're all he's obviously he was obviously here, and he knows what's going on. He's just, I don't know, y'all. I don't know, yeah, no. I'm glad that the dude Jay actually seen what was really going on, it really pissed me off. Yeah, he thought this was a whole scavenger hunt. Like, come on. The jump scare definitely got me. It got me, too. I did not. I thought he was dead. Okay, he already did. I did not expect him to wake up. Why didn't he believe his eyes? That's what I don't get. You see this person clearly dead with a, a fucking rock I on him. I'm got a whole boulder on top of him. Well, wait, didn't the boulder go... I'm confused on that scene because it's like the boulder went up there or something, or it's completely disappeared. I don't know. I thought it disappeared. Maybe he saw the future, or he saw the past or something. I don't know. I th- I thought it disappeared though. But that wouldn't make sense for it to just disappear out of thin air. That would make sense. So that's what I'm thinking. He probably saw a premonition or a vision or like he saw something that was there before, but it's not there anymore. But that would make sense because the room looked completely clean. So it's probably something he saw in the future, and he just didn't know. Mm, and maybe. do they even know there's something like that in the woods? Like, has anyone ever been down there before? I'm pretty sure because there's a light down there. But do they know what's going on down there? I wonder how they like. I wonder how, how far have they went into the woods? Like, but then again, now I understand why they wouldn't get woods. Cause say they get lost right in the woods trying to find their way back, and it get dark, they know they're gonna die. I feel like they won't get lost because let's say I'm walking, right? And I'm trying to get out of here. I'm walking through the woods for hours. I'm going to be back in the um the town, right? Maybe. I will always come back to the town. But that's the thing, though. I'm either going to come back to the town or I'm leaving the town. Like, because it seems like no matter what happens, you will always come back to the town. So if I'm walking and walking and walking, I'm not going to get lost. I'm either going to come back, like it's going to be a circle again, or I went so far that I'm going to end up somewhere else. That's what I feel like. But like I said, you end up somewhere else, and then when it gets dark, what are you going to do? Like That's what I'm saying. The monsters wouldn't be able to get me at that point because I'm not even there no more. I'm probably somewhere. I don't know where they're at right now. But if I'm like in one place, like I'm in one city, I'm walking for hours, I'm going to end up in another city. The monster's not going to be there, or how big is this damn city? I wonder why they take the, the shape of humans. I think they're skinwalkers, because skinwalkers, they pretend to be humans, or they pretend to be cre- I mean, animals. Like, you'll see a person that you think is um is your friend, and it's not really your friend. It's a fucking skinwalker ready to kill you. Mm-hmm. That's usually what they do. Um, They sound like people. Uh, skinwalkers, they look like people. And they can sound like people, like even dogs. Like they could pretend to be a dog. You think it's a dog until a dog stands up and murders him. I like this mystery shit. I love it. Like I'm the type of person. I love shows like this and Lost. Like you don't know what the hell's going on. And then when you finally finish the show and like when you finally get some answers, like what the fuck? I was not thinking any of that. I love shows like this, y'all. Yeah. Boy, my favorite character so far. I mean, he's the main character, but he's my favorite character so far. Yeah, I love Boy. 
I fuck with him when he played um what was his name? Michael or Mike on Lost. I ain't fuck with him. Cause he did some fucked up shit in that show, y'all. I was pissed. But he redeemed himself. But this show, love him. Love him, love him, love him. Love him. But yeah, y'all. Full reaction on Patreon. The link is in the description below. Thank y'all for watching and we'll catch y'all in the next one. Bye. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, let it be known. I'm working hard when I ain't on the phone. This ain't a hunt. This ain't a phone. Grind never stopping. I'm keeping it cold. Unlocking the door with the